What's up, YouTube? This is iPod Productions coming to you with the how to jailbreak your iPod using green poison. Alright, so, like, the first things, the main two things you need is your cable cord for your iPod, and as well as the iPod. I have a 3G, and we'll be jailbreaking it. Alright, so we're at the computer, and you're going to have to get this green poison. Alright, so what you want to do to get it, I will have a link in the description on the link to the website. So you want to open up your internet browser. And it, this um, Green Poison works for everything, iPhone, iPod, iPad, but it does not work for the iPhone 3GS. That's the only um, um, one that does not work. Alright, so go to Google, type in greenpoison.com. And this will be the 4.2.1 version firmware, so. This is the one I have, so this is the one I'm going to use. Greenpoison.com. And it should look like this. And on the right, <coughs> it should say Jailbreak Firmware 4.2.1. The top one is Green Poison Mac, and the bottom one is Green Poison Win, which means Windows. And I already downloaded it, so let me just exit out of that. And I exit out the Windows browser. And once you download, you should come up with this logo, the Green Poison logo. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and gather your two materials that you will need. is your iPod tar um, plug charger. Just go ahead and hook it up into the bottom of your iPod device. And at the bottom, sorry it's so dark, couldn't get the light to go through, but... Just go ahead and hook it up to your computer. Alright. Now, your computer should know that you have hooked up an iPod device or a new device. And you might get a notification that you have plugged one in. Alright. So, now you want to go ahead and double click green poison logo and it should come up and say one thing might pop up is apple tv if you're not using this click no but if you are then you should click yes one thing is it'll take longer so we're going to prepare and put it in dfu mode and one thing you want to do is turn power off before you start the dfu mode so we go ahead and turn our power device off Wow, slide fail. Alright. Once your device is off, then it should tell you that the device is unplugged. Alright, so with DFU mode, there's steps where you're going to have to hold the power button for two seconds and then hold the power button as well as the home button for 10 seconds and then release the power button and hold the home button for 15. Alright, so here we go. Starting up. Hold power button for 2 seconds. Home and power for 10 seconds. Then you hold home button for 15 seconds. And then it should say jailbreak at the bottom left of the window. And then you can just go ahead and click that. And click that. And I will show you what your screen should look like on your device. This white screen, this is supposed to happen, so don't freak out. It's nothing bad. Jailbreaks are getting safer and safer each year. So this is nothing bad. This is all good. This is what's supposed to happen.
So you're just waiting for it to load up. Alright, then you have some white writing. This is normal. Your iPod is not being bricked, so this is okay. This is what's supposed to happen. This is the process of Green Poison's jailbreak. And you have more white typing. And it's just working. It's just installing. It should take a few minutes. Not really that long. Alright, so it's rebuilding now. As you see, the Apple logo is rotating, and you will see the green poison um, logo. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just skip through this because it'll take a while for it to load up. And um, stay tuned. Alright, I'm back. It's all loaded up. And then once you slide over, you see there's an app called Loader. As you see. And then once you click into it, I do not have Wi-Fi at this moment. But you must have Wi-Fi to access it. And then you can, it'll say, it'll pop up Cydia. Then you install Cydia. I can't do that right now because I don't have Wi-Fi. So, um, yeah, that's the way to do it. And then once you get Cydia, your iPod is officially jailbroken. And you can do whatever you want. So, peace. Keep iPod.